Hello and welcome to the Print Together tutorial on how to create a business card in InDesign from start to finish. So in this video we're going to look at exporting to press ready PDF including bleed and crop lines. The bleed is basically the area outside of the artboard and the reason we need bleed for a printed product is when we come to trim a printed business card we actually need any of the background that goes all the way to the edge. We need a little bit extra outside so that when we trim we have the colour either side of the blade. To give you an example, if we were to set this back to the art area and we were to print this, when we came to trim it, if we were slightly off or if some of the ones at the bottom were slightly uh, aligned differently to the ones on the top, even by just a fraction of a millimetre, you'd end up with a white paper line because there's no extra colour in the bleed. So the reason for the bleed is to have a little bit extra when we come to trim. Going back to video one, I set this bleed area, this bleed guide, to just two millimetres. I can always obviously drag it out more, but the reason I set it to two millimetres is because this is a flat business card, it doesn't need to fold, it doesn't have any extra elements to it. It doesn't need a very big bleed area. And the reason I like to keep the bleed area to a minimum is once we've trimmed your business cards down, any excess paper on the outside goes into the Visi recycling bin and goes off to be recycled. Any ink that's left on that paper has to be de-inked, which is a waste product, gets thrown away. So with business cards, I recommend just keeping it at 2mm, keeping your, your bleed area small. With booklets and so forth, you'd make it more like 3, 4 or 5mm, just because you need a little bit extra for when it's folded and, and so forth. But for business cards, postcards, anything that, that doesn't need folding, um, I'd keep it just down to, to a minimum, to 2mm. Okay, so we've got our bleed area set for the front, all the way out and for our back. Now how do we create PDF with bleed and crop lines? So what we need to do is we go to file and we go to export. Now we pick our destination and we keep format as Adobe PDF print and we click save. Now in here we want to set our PDF to press quality which is sort of a high quality for printing and this automatically sets the, the, the majority of the settings to what we need. The one thing it doesn't have is the bleed and crop lines. So what we need to do is click crop marks. We don't really need color bars, registration marks, bleed, because we actually impose this to have more of the business cards on a page. So we add that ourselves. Um, so we just need the crop marks and we need a five mil bleed area. We only set the bleed to two mil, but we actually need five mil just so we can see the crop lines. So this is all linked, so that's five mil all around. We do export, this creates the PDF, and as we can see we've got a 5mm bleed area outside of where the crop lines are, and we've got a 2mm area within the bleed where the colour stretches all the way to the edge. So when we trim, we're going to trim to these trim lines, and it's going to trim off this excess. We're not going to end up with any paper lines down the sides, and we're going to end up with a perfect finished print. 